Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. No sé dónde están, entonces tomen todo. Este video tiene dos partes. La primera parte voy a hablar en español para que vean mi nivel actual. La segunda parte voy a hablar en inglés porque soy un auténtico pozo de palabras en inglés y quiero que ustedes entiendan súper bien mis problemas. Entonces, el tema que vamos a tocar eh, es los políglotos o la gente que aprende, aprende los idiomas en YouTube. No te compares con esa gente porque esa gente es tramposa. Lo que hace esa gente es preparar y hablar del mismo tiempo, eh, tema casi siempre. Por ejemplo, en este momento estoy hablando sin guía, sin guión. Si se me olvida una palabra, se me olvida. Pero tienes que ver una conversación sin ediciones, sin modificaciones para que veas. Porque, como ya dije, esa gente siempre, siempre, siempre está hablando del, de, del aprendizaje de español. ¿O okay. qué más? Y en el pasado me comparaba con esa gente y cada vez que cometí un error o algo así, andaba cabizbajo como, ah, llevo un año, llevo dos años, ¿cómo es posible que todavía esté cometiendo errores o algo así? Pero ¿sabe qué? Eso es normal, eso es normal. No vas a sonar nativo, en seis meses, un año, nada, nada, no vas a sonar nativo. No importa lo que te digan, porque te van a decir, ah, hablas súper bien, hablas mejor que, que mis hijos y, y todo eso. Y ¿sabe que Al principio me estaba comiendo ese cuento chimbo de, ah, hablas mejor que mi hijo y, ah, pensé, pensé que, pensé que eres puertorriqueño o colombiano o algo así. Pero a medida que avanzaba mi español, me iba dando cuenta de que eso no fue cierto. Es poco probable y me atrevo a decir que no es posible. No vas a sonar nativo. No llevas el tiempo suficiente para sonar nativo en seis meses, en un año. No sabes los dichos, no sabes... No sabe mucho, pero ¿sabe qué? Está bien. Mi lema siempre ha sido, voy lento, pero voy. Lo importante es que, no sé, tengamos una meta y estamos en camino. Estamos en camino, mi gente. Eh, pero sí, ya. Ok, let's talk in English a little bit. I want to tell you guys about some things that are still hard for me after four years, bro. And again, I'm not going to do any cuts. I don't do cuts in my videos. I just get on camera and talk, bro. So if I forget something, I just forget it. Number one, loud music. Bro, at parties, it doesn't matter like how good my Spanish gets, bro. I cannot understand people when the music's loud. And I'm, I'm thinking right now, like, do I understand people in English when that happens? I don't know. But when I'm at a party, bro, like maybe like a month ago, I was at a party and people were talking to me and I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, I just can't understand when there's loud music playing and someone's talking to me. I got to get people to repeat stuff like three times, bro. Let me know if that happens to y'all. Or when people turn their heads away. That pisses me off, bro. Like, somebody be talking and then they turn around and do something, but they're still talking to me. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Come on, man. I don't have 30 years speaking this language. You can't be walking away while you're talking to me. Number two. Um, where was I going to go with this? Comedy. Comedy is getting better. But, man, like comedy is heavily dependent on shared experiences. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but comedy is like... A lot of comedy is trauma. A lot of comedy is uh, references to the past. I think that'll be my next topic, references, but I'll just mix them together. Like, for example, in English, 
everything I say is a reference, whether it's SpongeBob, a movie that everyone has seen in America or something like that. And so, excuse me, if you don't know that reference, it's not going to be funny. It's not that you don't understand what I'm saying. You didn't live the same life that I lived. And it would take a long time for you to collect those experiences. You would have to put in work, you know. Uh, so I would say comedy, like I said, that's getting better. I remember, like, when I got to the point that I could have pretty fluid conversations, I would watch comedy in Spanish. And I'd be like, this shit's not funny, bro. But now, I'm like, okay, this is funny. Especially if it's a comedian from here that speaks Spanish. Comedians in Latin America, still, sometimes I'm like, man, shit's just not that funny because I didn't grow up here. I don't know half of these references. I don't know the history. I don't know this, that, and the other. But, like, for example, I'm going to see Angelo Colina. He's a comedian from Venezuela. He does shows in Spanish. I'm going to go see him in, like, two weeks. But, yeah, still, that's still tough. And references, like I said, lots of references. Uh... The same way we do in English, there's lots of references in just daily life that don't have to be comedy, but they're references to a time where you grew up doing something. But we didn't do that here in the United States. They did it as kids there. And I'll be like, I don't know what that shit is. Or at least I don't know it well, you know, so that that's still tough. Um, what else is tough for me? You know, honestly, not that much. Span- Spaniard Spanish. I don't know if I'm ever going to get over that. It's because I still don't know a lot of their conjugations. So on top of the accent, just if they're talking to a group, I get lost. I'm like, was that a group command? I know they do commands differently. So I, one day I feel like I'm just going to sit down, learn their conjugations so I won't be so lost when they talk. But yeah, overall, you know. It's been four years. I think I've done well for myself. I'm going to keep advancing, keep going. Just know that if you put in work for four years, you can get to a really good place. You're still going to have problems. You're still going to not understand stuff sometimes. Just like in English, there's stuff. If I don't know the topic, sometimes I get lost when people are speaking in English. It's normal. It's fine. So anyways, you know I don't make long videos. This is my video of the day. Hope y'all have a good day. Y'all want me to do anything, make a certain video, whatever, let me know. I will see y'all another time. Peace.